Um, I hope all of you have picked up a press kit with an agenda. It's right over there. Um, white and blue is over there. And um, I thought rather than me go on and on and on, I will just introduce each speaker as his or her turn comes up. That sound good to everyone? Good. Okay. Um, then I have a few opening remarks I would like to make, because I'm moderating, but I'm also a panelist. Patty, if you can pull that page down. Great. And everyone's hearing well? Yeah. Good. Wonderful. I just wanted to say that living with a disability is a different kind of life. It's not better and it's not worse than any other life. It's just a little bit different. Within the population of people with disabilities, there are some who may have terminal disorders, but most of us do not. And some of us have terminal moments that we live through, and then we go on. When we approach the medical world, our usual problem is not over-treatment, but under-treatment. Sometimes medical practitioners are not aware that we have full lives to return home to. And that is a problem. But there are other problems as well. Some treatments may actually be too invasive or too dangerous to perform safely on a body that is already different. But in other situations, the use of tools such as feeding tubes or suprapubic catheters or other things can alleviate problems and add to the length and the quality of life. Technology is nothing to be afraid of. I have a poster on my wall at home with a quotation by Neil Marcus. It says, disability is not a brave struggle or courage in the face of adversity. Disability is an art. It is an ingenious way to live. I think that's an awesome quote because it so well summarizes so much of what I experience and so much of what my friends with disabilities experience every day. People who don't know me may think that I have an unbelievably restricted and difficult life. There are moments, I won't kid you, there are moments, but I'm sure everyone experiences moments like that with or without a disability. But right now, I have the choice to continue living my life the way I want to. HB 6645 opens the door to a different kind of future. A future in which my life may be thought of as too expensive, were too burdensome on the society. No one should have to suffer in pain until the end of their lives. That is why we have a strong palliative care system. And Lorraine will be talking about that in a couple of minutes. Legislation that supports assisted suicide will not increase our choices. It will do exactly the opposite. That is why we are here today. That is why we cannot give up. Some of us are literally fighting for our lives.